Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make this map in ArcGIS Online that you can use as a base map for all kinds of crazy stuff. It's called Porcelain. And it's called that because I think porcelain is a cool sounding name. So here we are in the ArcGIS Online map viewer. And I'm looking at the imagery base map. It's just imagery, no labels, nothing else, just the imagery. Zoom, pan, it's always happy to pull in more tiles. I love it. So let's add to this base map by clicking the base map option. And the current base map is imagery. I'll select into this, and I'm gonna add a layer to my base map. Not a regular map layer, but a base map layer. I'll click this, and I'm gonna search within Living Atlas for Hillshade. And here is a tile layer of World Hillshade, which looks like this. So now we have world imagery and world hill shade, but the world hill shade is fully opaque and it's covering up my imagery. We could use transparency, but we won't. Instead, we're gonna use a blend mode. My second favorite way of blending hill shade into imagery is the luminosity blend mode. Luminosity. Applied to hill shade when over imagery looks like sculpted sherbet ice cream. I think it's glorious. Now blend modes aren't the only way that you can control how layers look in ArcGIS Online. There's a new thing called effects. Effects? Yeah, effects. And I'm going to activate brightness and contrast for this. And when I do that, it defaults to some blown out brightness and some extreme contrast, low contrast, high contrast low brightness, high brightness. See, I'm gonna set this to something reasonable like uh, 90 brightness, that looks pretty good. And then the contrast actually looks pretty good. Let me just play a little, well, oh, this looks good, okay. So brightness of 90, contrast of 120. Let's take a look at what we've got in a global sense. Panning and zooming, looks kinda neat. The oceans are a bit blue and we don't have any context and the colors are a little bit blown out even though I like where we're headed, but we can improve this. So let's do just that. I'll add another layer also from Living Atlas called Human Geography. Now the Human Geography base map layers are wonderful reference layers and they're lovingly crafted and tended to by famous cartographer Andrew Skinner. I'll add the detail and the text layers to this map. And this I'll add into the reference area so that when I add data, maybe later on, or you do it, the text will render on top of the data layer. And these things will render underneath the data layer. It's like a base map sandwich. So I'll choose this new human geography detail layer, which is all these borders and water polygons and stuff. And I want to tint it a color but it's gray, so I can't just add a tint color, or can I? So there's an option called sepia, and I'll choose sepia, and it tints it. It just tinted it a sepia, tan, golden, brownish sepia color. So now I can take this colorized version and do a hue rotate. So I'll activate hue rotate, and I'll drag it underneath the sepia so that it applies after sepia. And check this out, I can make this all kinds of colors. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to make it 159, nice slate blue color. Okay, now dig this. There's an effect called bloom. And it is insane. It is insane. I'm gonna just drop everything down to nothing Really what it is, is like an automatic fireflyification of any layer. It rules. I've done a video on it. I'll link to it right there in the corner. Boop, boop, boop. Hit that. Okay. And I'm going to change these settings to the strength to be, you know, 0 0.4. And we get this nice edge effect, like bisqueware. It's porcelain. That's why I called it porcelain. And the radius, I'll make 0. Uh, let's see, 6. That's starting to look too good. That's getting too strong, 0 0.6, and I'll just, I'll leave threshold at zero. What does threshold do? Honestly, I'm not sure what any of these do. I just push and pull them until things break and they, I stop when I like how they look. That's how it works for me. So we get 
for free kind of this coastal artifact this neat little coastal faded edge effect and smaller bodies of water which are lakes have this slightly darker appearance which is really wonderful okay now it looks a little bit weird as i zoom in and out i'm going to turn off automatically adjust based on scale so that the effect is the same no matter what scale i zoom in or out on but isn't that just a charming little thing and it's actually applying it to the borders and the roads <laughs> and everything too and it's just kind of a neat neat little thing watch i'll turn it off and on for reference off on it's amazing i love that effect I want to merge this with my underlying map a little bit more though so i'm going to go back to the properties of this base map layer human geography detail layer and instead of normal which is essentially no blend mode i'm going to choose average it's super subtle but that's the name of the game let's see what we've got now let's take a look at these labels they're just sitting here dutifully doing their job. I want to push them back there a little bit loud. I'm gonna push them to, mm, let's see, from too much, 40% transparent. Now they seem to fit in in this environment. And I'll give them also a luminosity blend mode. What this means is it's taking the darkness of this text layer and it's just getting informed a little bit by the underlying color of the map underneath it. But the trade-off though is that we do get into a little bit of trouble in more complex areas where a label is sitting over top an area that has a little bit of visual complexity. You can't really read the label very well. So I want to make this pop just a little bit and give it a bit of four to complement the ground. And I'll choose an effect called drop shadow and the color of the drop shadow I'll make white so it's effectively a glow I'll make its width to pull it in and instead of offsetting it like a shadow would be I'm just gonna render it directly behind the text around the text there we go and this is how you can make this porcelain looking base map in ArcGIS online using blend modes effects and layers from Living Atlas.